The Virginia countryside may not be the first place that comes to mind when you think about D-Day. But here at the foot of the Blue Ridge Mountains, the town of Bedford lost more men per capita on June the 6th, 1944 than any other community in the U.S. 20 young men from this community was devastating. This was a community of about 3,500 people. You knew everyone, you know, you went to school together, you went to church together, you played together. It was a devastating loss. But on a larger sense, I think that just is, again, emblematic of all of our communities everywhere who lost these uh, young men and women who served in the war to protect our freedoms. And so we think it's in a very appropriate place. These are pictures of the Bedford boys. So some of the last pictures taken of them. This picture just looks like youth, joy, it, right. potential. You know, they're so young, they're carefree, they loving life, loved one another. You know, most of these young men when they joined up had no idea they were going to be in a world war. They joined up in the late 30s, it was the Dep Depression era America, it was a way to earn a little bit of extra money and support your families and um, never imagining what would happen just a few years later. And, uh, and they were very young. The memorial is set out chronologically, starting with the English garden, to depict where all the planning took place. So we have obviously some of the British generals here, Sir Arthur William Tedder, for example, and you've got Ramsay and Montgomery. To us, we just love the garden. It, everything is very symbolic. The English folly at the end, which represents Southwick House. We have the uh, battle map uh, and a mosaic tile on the ceiling of the folly, which um, I think visitors really enjoy seeing and uh, it just brings it to life, the story to life. This monument may be in America, thousands of miles from the place and event that it commemorates. But here in its English garden, you get a real sense that this is a memorial to all of those who served. We spend a lot of time talking about the role of um, our, our allies, our Canadians, our, the British, and how we work together. And those who served and sacrificed were the only institution in the world to actually research the names, not just of the Americans, but the allies who were killed that day. And it was a tremendous 20-year project, but it was so important, I think, to have the name of every single soldier, sailor, airman, coast guardsman uh, who, who gave their lives so that we could all be free. Important too that the story of D-Day continues to be taught to every generation. I couldn't imagine what they do. I, could, I couldn't imagine it. One of the greatest sacrifices in world history. I just think it'll be played out horror. One minute you see your friend, one minute you see him lying on the ground. It'll just be horror. A horror these young visitors hope they will never have to experience. A horror remembered here every day thousands of miles from the beaches of Normandy.